This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 8, Boolean Expressions and If Statements, Puzzle 17. This looks cool. Um, you try it. This is slightly more, uh, is a slightly more involved example. You'll need to study the starting design and code a little bit. But you only have to insert a single if-else statement and move some lines of code into the appropriate if-or-else clause to make it work. Oh, cool. Okay, so there, make a guess, click roll. <laughs> All right, do this. Study the starting code first, see what it does. You can run it to see what happens. Sure. Roll the dice. Oh, oh, wait, that, I'm happy and a trophy? Okay. The reset, which hides the image. We made the function because we want to run this code from two different handlers add an if else statement and roll button event handler to check if the random number that represents a dice roll matches the user's guess all right so we can do that oh if correct show the trophy image else Frowny face, subtract one from the score. Okay. And this should probably be below the set text. If else equal to die. There we are. Got that. Okay. And we want to check. Oh, it is die. So the dice's value is die value. That sounds kind of uh, scary. Die value is equal uh, to, uh, let's see. Oh, do we need to, we need to get, okay. We got to grab the value of this. So get number, oops, we should do the math part first. And the ID is guess, yep, drop down. Okay, if it is equal to die value, so if it is equal to our die value, we will do what this says. Show the trophy image, add 6 to the score. Else, show the frowny image, got it. All you elements are added. That means a user interface flip to the design mode. All code except for the if-else statement and conditional. Uh, the global score vario, track of score between clicks. Okay, so... This, what we have, let's try it out. I'm going to guess four. Oh, four. One. I did it! And notice my score is going up. I got two wrong and then one right. And it's showing the image. So that is looking good. Uh, what this is doing. So upon clicking roll, the bu roll button, which is this, it resets all of this, right? It goes blank. And then it, oh, I lost a point. Uh, we are making a new variable die value, and we're setting it equal to the random number between 1 and 6, because that's the options on a dice. We then set the text to that value. So we're setting this text to whatever value we roll. We then have this if statement. Keep in mind, an if statement's only going to run one part or the other. Well, an if else is. So if this is true, we're asking the computer if this is true. If it is true, the computer drops down and runs this stuff right here. If it is false, if the computer says, no, that's not true, they guessed uh, something way off of die value, this is false, it skips this code, it does not run it, and it drops down here, and it will be running this code. So if it is correct, it only runs this and this, then it skips the else and keeps running the rest. If it is wrong, right, false, we did not get a value equal to the die value, it skips everything in here, hits the else, and runs below it. And that's why it's uh, working. So, but uh, let's keep going.